So when we're picking our PMS colors, even if we want to use a gradient, that's fine, as long as we make that gradient with a PMS color. So let's just say, for example, instead of pure yellow, if I wanted it to transition from yellow to white or whatever, I can pick my gradient tool and I can assign for the fill, I can assign this gradient. And then I can change the angle of the gradient to look something like this. And then all I have to do is come over here to my Pantone colors, which is open. And by the way, sometimes when you first open it up, it might look like this, right? That's no good. What you want to do is you want to have the large list view. And that way it'll give you the name of the color, the number of the color as you're going through. So all I have to do is drag, if I want yellow, while it's selected, while I have my gradient open, I can just click and drag it to here and I can get rid of the black and then I have a gradient. And as I mentioned before, generally speaking, unless you're screen printing on a t-shirt or printing on a dark surface, white usually doesn't count as a color because white is usually the color of the substrate or the paper. So in this case, we are still two colors even though we have a gradient. Now, if I wanted to make it a gradient, if I wanted this gray background and then a gradient from yellow to orange, that would be three colors. So, but if you're doing just blue or something like that, that's easy. You know, if we, if we take this here and, and move it to, to there, you know, that works. Um, I don't know why you do blue on that background, but you get the, you get, you get the point. So as long as you're doing with two Pantone colors, you're okay. And by the way, with this gradient, some of you may have noticed that when I first did it, and I'm actually going to pick, uh, whoops, I don't want to do that. I'm going to pick a darker color so we can see it a little better. When I first started this gradient, it looked like this, um, where it has like, it was each letter was like individual. It wasn't a gradient going the whole way through. There is a way to do that to make it look like it's going all the way through this way, but I that'll take a while to, to like explain. But all I had to do was take it and change the angle of the gradient to either coming from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top, you know, and then that works. And of course I could do the gradient on each of these words separately. Like if I wanted international to not have a gradient, if I wanted restoration to, to have a gradient, whatever. 